Hi guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to my new video and as you can see from the title we're going to do a review today and the review is going to be about the Spellbound Beauty Co eyeshadow palettes so I have two so they look like this so if you want to find out more about this beautiful babies stay tuned and stay with me and stay with this video okay if you're still here welcome to my channel thank you for watching thank you for your support and let's dive into the makeup so we're doing eyes today so reviewing the eyeshadow palettes so this is like a as I mentioned at the beginning of the video it's a spell book a Spellbound Beauty Co. brand and it's a spell book collection so I think it's like Halloween collection I think I'm not sure but I think something like that and yeah I have two of those so I have like a, the book of enchantment and the book of nightmares as you see palettes so the palettes look like this like this I love everything a little bit the magic with the spells, with the, like mystery, with the, like science fiction, like I don't know. I like that kind of stuff. So yeah, the spell, the book of enchantment, look like this inside. So this is the color scheme. You have a mirror, and what can I tell you a little bit more about them? So. Uh, 15 press pigments inside from beautiful cranberry tones to warm earth tones this palette is ready to place another anyone under the under its spell so it's cute it's nice it's cruelty free um, and yeah that's it I can't tell you much more about this palette so that, that's it and of, co of course I'm going to leave the link to their website down below so you can check if you want or, or, or buy if you want the book of nightmares is a terrifying or very unpleasant experience a frightening or unpleasant dream <laughs> uh, Halloween's version of the rainbow this palette is made for the creative Halloween enthusiast with the bold colors and tones to shadow and sculpt uh, you'll be able to slay any spooky look yeah I'm, I, I was correct like it's like Halloween like a um, collection so yeah I'm, I'm really excited to try those palettes so let's dive into it so I prep my eyes already I use the P. Louise rumor it's number zero so it's white eyeshadow primer and yeah i did a like, little bit of my brows and that's it basically because i'm going to do the eyes and then out, out of the camera i'm going to do like the rest of the face so let's dive into it i'm not sure what i'm going to do so yeah I, i'm not sure that i i showed you the the nightmare palette so the color scheme look like this it's not too bold you have like a couple of bold colors but like overall I like I like the colors that's good so only thing that happens is like yeah I lose my eyeshadow <laughs> so it's not like very nicely done with the pants so yeah just be careful I don't know is that just mine or like is that the problem with all the eyeshadow palettes so yeah okay let's dive into it so i'm going to start with the oogie oogie so this is the color that i'm talking about so it's like vibrant neon greenish yellowish color something like that okay let's dive into it so i need like a small blending brush maybe even pencil brush no i'm going with a small blending brush and i'm going to dip into the that color okay you have like a little bit of fallout in the pan nothing too crazy pigment is here i'm going to just dust off a little bit and let's start co 
having our eyes. <laughs> so I'm thinking to do like something like a cut crease, but I'm not sure yet, but we're going to start. So I'm going, I want to try as much as possible colors from the eyeshadow palettes, the both of them. <laughs> so be prepared. Okay, let's start with the yellow. I'm going to put that color in the inner corner. So basically I'm just tapping, nothing else. Okay. Even though we put the white base underneath at first, whatever, and then on top of that I'm putting the, the, the vibrant colors. Uh, it's not as vibrant as it looks in the pan, so it's like really neon color, but when you put on the skin, like on the eyelid, it's not as vibrant as I thought it's going to be, does that make sense? But I mean pigment is here, I can't say like there is no pigment, so yeah. Well, when you build up a little bit more, so you need some time, it's not too bad. Okay, we are done with the inner corners. I like it, it's there. I hope you can, I hope that you can see on the camera, like in the, in, in live, <laughs> it's nice. I scratched that. Like it's 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 vibrant. Like yeah, like need to build up the pigment a little bit more, but when you do that, like it it it's there, it's there, it's there. Yeah, I like it. Like it, like it, like it. Okay. I need the next brush. Okay. And we are going moving forward with the hazard hazard sorry so this is the color that I'm talking about so it's like all, all, also like a neon neon orange color okay let's dive into this color so I'm going to try and create like a cut crease so I'm going I'm going to blend this orange color into the yellow and just create like nice and seamless transition. Good. And let's do that on the other side as well. So, as you can see, like the first shade that I put on the lid is I just tapped and that's how I apply the, the eyeshadow. And now I go like back and forward in a circular motion and apply and blend the colors together. Okay, so far so good. Let's go further. So now I'm going to continue with the orange color, like orangey red. I'm going to use the other sh palette and I'm going to use Aura and Vinifred. So I'm going to mix those two colors. And continue my journey. Perfect, I like it. So far so good. Now, which one now? Now I'm going to take another palette and I'm going to use this it color. So it's like really, really red color. And So far, 
so good. Now I need something, something what? Something purple. Okay, I'm go back and forward between those two palettes. Now I'm going to mix Jinx and Hex. So those two purple color. And yeah, let's dive into the purples. Okay, I like the purples as well. But so far, the all colors are beautiful. Like, hope that you can see. Like, I like it. I like it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Okay, now. I would love to have blue, but I, I don't have it. <laughs> so I'm going to continue with what? With green. So I'm going to end this color scheme with green. So I'm going to use the basilisk. So it's the, this green color here. Finish this journey. And go down. So now I'm blending this green color. Good, I like it. Yeah, when you mix like purple and green, you almost get a like a bluish. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to return to the flat synthetic brush and Pilui's base and just clean that line. or create like a proper cut crease. Okay, all done. Now I'm going to use, which one? Hmm. Okay, I'm returning to the other palette. I'm going to use Lumos. So it's like shimmery champagne color. And I'm going to use that as a highlight on the brow. Yeah, and this pen also like move. So I'm going to just highlight a little bit here. And a little bit here. off. Now I'm going to use the only press pigment that we have in those two um, palettes. So it's a eternal. So it looks like this. So it's like golden, greenish, reddish, orangey mixture of, of shimmer. And I'm going to use the flat synthetic brush and try with just dry brush to see what's going to happen. And I'm going to just tap over the this part here. Now 
not bad, not bad. Okay, let me try with a wet brush. gorgeous. I love it. So I'm just going to try and clean under the eye. Here we go. Okay, we are done with the eyes guys. Eyes guys! <laughs> I'm going to do the rest of the makeup and I'll be right back. And voila! my friends we are done with this uh, makeup tutorial i'm finished the whole face the rest of the face and yeah i'm back i'm back bitches <laughs> okay i love love i love this makeup look yes girl So maybe to get a little bit closer, so you can see this masterpiece. Yes, girl. Come on, colors. Here we go. Love, love, love it. Okay, I need to say a couple of words about this eyeshadow palettes oh, nee. okay this look good we can finish like this yes yes okay so this is a review so we need to review these beauties so the spellbound beauty co I like the idea, it's amazing, I love, love, love everything related to magic, spells, um, science fiction, fantasy, like, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> so I love, I really enjoy the, the look of the, this palette and the names also, like a lot of names of the eyeshadows, like it's like from the iconic movies related on the this topic yeah uh, so like a like a lumos like it's uh, from harry potter or like aura enchantment jinx hex incantation like vinnie freds it's like from like sister sanders uh, grimoire also i think from Harry Potter, uh, Broomstick as well, Curse, like yeah there's a lot of like funny and, and interesting and familiar names of the colors um, like Elm Street, Hello's Eve, Annabelle like a uh, icon iconic horror movie and Dracula and Jack o Lantern or Cauldron also the Harry Potter, Basilisk as well, Sister Sanderson's like it's really really like carefully thought eyeshadow palettes so I love complete idea and I love the Halloween as well so yeah I really really enjoy using those colors like it's really pigmented nicely blended like there is no fallout on the f on the face so it's a little bit fallout on the pen but when you dust the excess of the eyeshadows from the brushes and start blending and applying on, on your eyes uh, there is no fallout. I, I did like I didn't clean my face basically uh, Before I start applying foundation. So and and still look like seamless and perfect. So yeah, I can say like I tried the the all like Most of the eyeshadow palettes from both both palette like not everyone every single one, but still like the majority and I really love it, like there is 
big pigmentation is there. I love the uh, color scheme, the pressed pigment that I used on my lids, like it's amazing. I didn't use any like a uh, glue for the pressed pigment or whatever, just the dry brush, then the fingers, then uh, you have the opportunity to see while I'm applying it. So yeah, like and after that just with the fingers and the wet, wet brush, just I try all different uh, ways to apply the press pigment on your lids and I really enjoyed it like it's uh, there is a little bit of fallout but it's a press pigment so you can't do much about that yeah but still nothing too crazy nothing too like I don't know you know so yeah really really enjoy using these palettes only downside I think it's that is like very badly glued the pan for the uh, on the palette, so I have already two pans full from the space. Uh, so yeah, that's the only downside. I don't know if that's the case just with mine or maybe someone, somebody else experienced same problem. But yeah, and you can hear like how pans are detaching from the the palettes. So yeah, that's the only downside. Like everything else, like it's amazing. Like I love, 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 love these eyeshadow palettes, uh, and definitely I'm going to use in the future and maybe even buy some more. Uh, yeah, until then, like I hope you enjoyed the time spent with me. I hope you like this eye makeup look. And if that's the case, you know the drill, guys. Subscribe, share, like, and we we'll see you in another video. Love ya, bye. Yes. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's